Welcome back to the channel. On today's Culture Rewind, we are visiting the Nirvana exhibit at the Museum of Pop Culture here in Seattle. I thought it would be fun to check out before we dive into a Boots on the Ground series for Kurt Cobain. Right now I have eight to nine videos planned for Kurt where we'll visit locations around Seattle, Olympia, and of course, Aberdeen. They'll be coming out right after this one, so be sure to subscribe if you're a fan. Also, I did a whole series on Kurt's death a few years back. I'll link to them down in the description. One of them is exclusively on Rumble because YouTube took down the first video in a series of three. But anyway, let's head over to Mopop. I'm not gonna offer too much commentary. I'll just let you guys enjoy the exhibit. It was pretty cool. exciting to you is knowing about things that nobody else knows about. It made me feel like I was very special, that I was, I was... You kind of got hip to like, this big scene on the ground, and that's how you and then the label started like dipping low and plucking. I think the start of that was with Ari, when Ari... Where is he? Is he in the studio? Are you, you work out. Where he is. Yeah. She basically wanted to do things to yeah. himself. Centered in Seattle, but extending you know, 100 miles in all directions. We're associated with the Northwest. Jimi Hendrix went to high school here. We could essentially say anything we wanted about the Northwest. <laughs> and we started putting up labels of his own set. And you know, he wanted it to be a regional thing. Yeah, yeah, how farther. Everything that has some pop logo on it. Just the way. Jonathan Bruce portrayed uh, Sub Pop to be largely black when in actuality. And I saw this Clash record and I was like, wow. True rock and roll, underground and without state or government or corporate sponsorship. It was just done on the energy of people. So we'll design the record cover. Instead of being on the phone to somebody who is lining up the engagements. Big city to go from one store that might have one copy of the scene. We really had to work to track down this information. It was not easy. We didn't really know it was labeled. This underground thing has become just it 
Eventual 